Welcome to Johnny Arcade. So as promised in my previous reading, I am busting out Wizards Tarot. This is, um, I use it rarely because it's so super karmic. It's all about karmics and the fucking karmic shit that they're getting for having done all their karmic shit. And so, um, yeah, I thought it would be fun been a while because the energies I've been picking up recently are very karmic in nature very karmic in nature so I thought it would be appropriate to just kind of see what these fools are going through because I get a lot of confirmation that these people just won't stop doing the most and that all they got to do is stop doing the most admit they were doing the most and that's where it gets hard because it's like these people don't want to admit that they were doing these things they don't want to show this side of them, this dark, selfish, manipulative, how they would go through all this stuff and do all these type of rituals and stuff like that. Uh, again, the lengths that this person would go through to cause this sort of trouble that they thought was harmless, maybe. Or maybe they knew it wasn't harmless, but they didn't think they'd ever get caught. They didn't think they'd ever get caught. Think anyone would ever know what they did or would be capable of doing or that they were capable of doing such a thing and they might have done it a lot of times they might have a real sick attachment to doing whatever this is and so we're going to turn to where's the show to see if again what we have consent to know at this time that we deserve to know based on where we stand having been maybe directly or indirectly affected because of it, right? Whether they meant harm or not, if we were negatively affected by it and unaware of it, maybe we made certain choices because of the falsified information we were working with. Had we known certain truths, we might have chosen differently. We might be in a different position today. If we knew this information. So that's what we're seeking today. The information that we are deserving of knowing within the karmic situation. And what they got coming. Or are dealing with right now. That we have consent to know from God at this time. Ashe. So it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Alright, spirit. Let's do this. Let's give them something to talk about. Is the song I'm channeling right now. Someone might have been, again, working with someone to spread rumors type of thing. The Hermit. Okay. Does he look like he's, like, finding peace and meditating? No. He looks like he's alone and terrified and scared. Okay, so I said this karmic. This is the karmics. Ready? We've got the death card. This person is afraid that they are literally going to die. What they have done has is absolutely terrible and is either punishable by death or they are literally on in bad health and have only a short period of time left to live. The death card. There's a coffin. There's a coffin right there. Just letting you know. The Eight of Curses. Look at this. Doesn't it look like him and someone else are on their knees praying to this dark demonic entity? Playing with spell work. They're summoning dark entities and demons. Probably wishing death on you. But because you were innocent and they were trying to sacrifice a soul without its consent, they probably tried to get you to give consent. Like I said, getting you drunk or getting you high. Getting you shrooms. Buying you alcohol. Let's go to the bar. Just take this pill. You have the time of your life. They did the most, man. They did the most. And they couldn't affect you. You go back to this demon. It didn't work. The spell didn't. What do you mean the spell didn't work? The sun. What do you mean the spell didn't work? But master, 
I did everything you said. You must have messed it up. No, I did it all. Exactly like you said. Get out of my sight. My giant single eyeball cycloptic sight. Get out of it. None of curses. But what about... Oh, don't worry. We'll figure something out. <laughs> we'll make it work. Oh, I owe you. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. I know exactly how you'll repay me. Justice. <laughs> Get on those knees. You said it would work. You did it wrong. User error. Justice, the son, nine of curses. This guy, though, look at this guy. Oh, yeah, I got you. I'm gonna take good care of you, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Wipe that, wipe that look off your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you want a massage? Your shoulders are tense. You really need to loosen it up a little bit there, buddy. <laughs> did I see some? Yes, I did. Five, five of beasts. Oh, yeah. Now, this guy looks more peaceful. Beasts or what? Wands or something? Beasts or wands. Now, this guy looks like he's got to take a break. He's like... Again, like, right? Doing the most, not giving up, just constantly, 24-7, going non-stop at the negative spell work and shit. And finally, this guy's like, I gotta, I gotta, I have to rest. I can't, I just can't. With that hermit up there, he's sad, he's alone, he's just, he's giving up, he wants to die. He can't even turn to the devil anymore. When he does, he gets penetrated in the rear end. He hates when... Daddy Devil does that. He's not trying to go see Nasty Nate anymore. Look, he's even having a hard time sitting. He's like, my butt hurts just sitting here. Looking at this wand triggers memories. <laughs> Bad wand. Bad magic stick. I thought I saw one upside down. I don't think so. This one did come out, though. We've got two of cults in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this guy either got found out, whatever secret society or, or group he was turning to for help, they're fucking like, I'm out of here. No, no, not going to happen. I believe cults are pentacles. Yes, cults are pentacles. So again, out of balance. It's like he, he blew his shot. He blew it with his friends. They all know that the devil porks him in the butt hole. <laughs> the devil will be parking in it. Parking in it. In the no parking zone. <laughs> We've got Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this fool is, again, in reverse, this is lies. This fool is... Um, Made his bed, right? Now he's got a lie in it. He's, he's eating his own words. He's got his foot in his mouth. Maybe more than that in his mouth. If you catch my drift. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. It's the car. I just pulled the cards. I just pulled the cards. If you want, we can read cards like this for a little bit. But I'm telling you, it's in... It's what the universe is telling you. I'm just... I just shuffle. I'm just playing cards. We've got eight of beasts. Look, yeah, now he's turning to something else. He was going to the all-seeing eye. Now he's going to the black, gaping, bottomless hole being. <laughs> and now he's got two swords. This is level two. I'm telling you, he is going all out of control, out of his way. Ay, ay, ay. This guy is loco. I don't... I just pulled the cards. We've got the magician. Yes, he's using dark magic. He's going to dirty practitioners. B 
people who can try to assist him with cursing you. Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords is this creepy spider here. I feel like it's again he's playing with fire and now he's getting burned. I just pulled the cards. Those who he's turned to, they are now getting returned to sender. So they have nightmares. They are getting exposed because of having been affiliated with this individual. I just pulled the cards. Queen of Queen of Colts. Hmm, that's an interesting that's an interesting woman with her weird pink KKK privileged lady. That's the Queen of Pentacles. Privileged lady with her tentacles that are serpents. Very Medusa energy. The Emperor in reverse. Again, a dark worker, dark magic. That just confirms the, the magician we got earlier. This Queen of Cults working with this Emperor in reverse. Like I said, he might think or say that he holds some sort of title or has some sort of gifts, but he doesn't have the gifts. This Queen of Cults might have even been paying this, this Emperor, and then he goes to a magician. To get the answers and then goes back to this queen of cults there was a place that i worked at and it's like it got bought by another company and a, like a big old huge company and then no one of the people none of the people that were originally working there forever still work there me being one of them and um rumor had it that like, like word on the street was that like when people called in for tech support <laughs> Because no one there knew anything about the products. The tech support guy for the world, this company is like worldwide, and would call the local distributor down the street and ask the distributor like how to handle these technical questions for the product. Now again, distributor. That's like Doritos calling 7-Eleven to ask information about their new flavors, right? Because the guy who works at Doritos has no fucking clue, so he's gotta call the guy at 7-Eleven to ask about the Dorito flavors. What's that tell you about the Dorito company, right? Huge company, too. So if you were calling them for 30,000 square foot parking structure, the kid on the other end of that line has no idea where to even, who to even ask in that building, let alone who to call. So they call, the, like I said, the 7-Eleven of the concrete industry. King of Swords. King of Swords in reverse lies. Bullshit, bullshitters. These fucking karmics, man. Why you keep getting all this crap? That's why your shit ain't working. Because he's probably not even being honest to this queen. Or pen of, or queen of cults. Look at this guy. He's scared as shit. Four of curses. It looked like I said fear of curses. Came out sideways. Look at that dude. I feel like that's what... I'm getting clockwork orange. This dude is brainwashed, mind controlled. Whether he realizes it or not. I feel like he loses a lot of sleep, stays up late, doesn't take care of himself, probably tries to watch TV to stay distracted, but I'm literally getting like Nightmare on Elm Street when they're just trying not to go to bed, because when they go to bed, they get Ten of Swords. They get Ten of Swords. King of Beasts. Wands, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, this guy. Whoa, look. I 
Robertson, he's the master manipulator, or at least he thought he was, because he's been doing all this, again, wands, right? He's been taking all this swift action that are just terrible decision after terrible decision after terrible decision. And look, he's like the king of the hill, right? But it's like a giant pile of shit. <laughs> My readings yesterday talked about getting rid of that pile of shit. I have a feeling this is that same dude that needs to get rid of the pile of shit. And that's underneath the Queen of Cults. It's like this King of Beasts, this manipulative man, probably physically abusive man, is with this gold digger wife or gold digger girlfriend. Probably to try to, again, Nine of Swords, or, yeah, King of Swords in reverse, this, uh, again, to snuff the truth out on this emperor. They're telling lies to make this the real emperor look like he's not the real emperor and that he's full of shit. So these two people are teaming up against this the real emperor. That or this man and this woman, this woman who is not a gold digger and this man who is not manipulative, who might have been told lies that they are, or they know the truth about this false emperor. Does that make sense? It goes both ways. Everything's mirrored duality they create the duality and then when, all it does is help us identify the other end of that rainbow is it a pot of gold or is it a pile of shit strength two of two of swords in reverse again strong communication i feel like between this queen and king if that's the scenario strong communication they're not lying to each other there's no swords here they're just they work together she might he might even work for her she's the pentacles it's like he's got she's got the brains he's got the brawn let's make lots of money and then again this emperor over here who tells the lies who isn't what he says these people know for sure these people know for sure and their strength in numbers, the two of swords, again, the open communication. I feel like they're working together to get this information out one way, shape, or form. That's And this is going right here underneath that terrified. This guy knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. He knows that the truth is growing strength and his lies are getting weaker. The, the protection around his lies, right? The truth is growing stronger. He's absolutely terrified of this communication or these two people. He's terrified of these two people communicating. I don't, they might not be in communication with each other, but he knows that if the two of them com come together and communicate, it's fucking over for this dude. Page of Curses. Page of Curses. Look, he's, again, he's like bribing people and using money magic or manipulation to get people to do his bidding. See how it's like he's tormenting that girl? And he's going back to that. I remember when he was going to see the sun. That was what the sun card had on it. It's like he was going to this demon or this entity to try to see how do I manipulate her. Totally doing magic, yo. On her money. Page of curses. That's that lack. Um, again, this guy, it's like almost like he's using it to spit game and get some ass. It's like he can't even pick up on chicks. He's got to use spells to get women to like find him attractive or to ugh, four of beasts look at he's got six sexual perversions he might like to cross dress or wear women's underwear or a thong leggings high heels shit like that this dude likes to dress up like a woman behind closed doors in secret four of beasts hmm and then temperance. Yeah, this I feel like his chick found out. His, his chick might be like into, you know, like religious or whatever. Found out. His chick found out that he's like a cross-dresser or into dudes or into both or whatever. It made her sick. Like she's throwing up all over the place. Projectile vomiting into her coffee. This person could have literally found out when they were drinking coffee and barfed it into their coffee. Could have literally. Or their tea. That or it's Popeye eating two cans of spinach, double fists and Stone Cold Steve Austin style. I don't think that's what's happening. <laughs> Temperance Angel. And it look, it's like 
It's like two people came and told her what they saw while she was enjoying coffee. It's like her children were like, Mom, Mom, you'll never guess what I just saw Daddy doing. <laughs> I'll never, you'll never guess what we just caught Dad doing. What, was he smoking out? No. He definitely had a pipe out, but it wasn't. <laughs> he had the skin pipe out. <laughs> he had the skin flute out. Him and Uncle Billy were out there together. They said they were making music in the band room. But just Uncle Billy playing the skin flute. <laughs> Practicing his scales on the skin. <laughs> practicing power chords on the skin flute we've got <laughs> age of curses or ace of curses <laughs> yeah dark ages I'm telling you breaking generational curses these dudes are sick and curses are pinnacles right I always keep checking but I'm usually right yeah ace of pinnacles She found out he makes money doing this. This is that same motherfucker. Where is it? Where the devil's like massaging his shoulder. Only after he's dead. This dude, if his wife found out that he's gave for pay or whatever, that would be it. He's afraid she's going to find out this dude is gave for pay or where's, like I said, panties or where's his chick's panties or something. How come you only had three pairs of underwear in this week's wash, honey? How come I had eight pairs of, or nine pairs of panties in the wash? Can you explain that for me? Three of swords. Oh, yeah, you also have a couple socks missing. Three of swords. I'm telling you that truth is coming back to haunt him. If he was just honest with it from the beginning, like maybe when they first started dating or whatever, and he was like, hey, you know, I just gotta let you know that I will be true to you, I love you forever, I'll take care of you, but I have this dark passenger where, you know, I am attracted to men or whatever it is, right? Just been honest. Maybe she wouldn't have married you, right? But think about it. You're a lie. You're lying. You're withholding the information. Yeah, if she wasn't going to marry you, that's those are her boundaries. Those are like the things that... Yeah, that's a non-negotiable. Cool. Maybe it was negotiable. Maybe she wouldn't mind. Maybe she'd be happy being just partners or friends. And not making it weird. But it's like too late now, right? So it's like something like that. Where she's finding out the hard way. Someone caught him or she caught him. But again, I feel like the kids caught him. With one of daddy's buddies or whatever getting intimate and it's telling you just the thought of his chick finding out and I mean that's part of it right that adrenaline rush like sneaking it getting away with it and all that right that excitement that challenge not getting caught you don't want to hurt that person but obviously what you're doing if they found out would devastate them but what they don't know don't hurt them so as long as you don't get caught right Right, guys? As long as you don't get caught, right? Ace of Beasts. I'm telling you, all the aces are coming out. And all the twos. Ace of Beasts. That's the wands. She's getting the last laugh, I feel like. The, this wife. She's going to, like, I don't know, divorce him, take all his money or something. Because, again, he's been lying. She, he's been collecting money. Getting on his knees, blowing dudes. This whole community that he does this with knows. They probably know this couple personally. And so she's realizing now every time they hang out or whatever. That they've been in the back or they're going to go smoke a joint. Yeah, smoke a pole or again practice some bars on the skin flute. Some scales. Some musical scales on the skin flute. Time Traveler's Wife, which is appropriate, I think, for this reading. If this scenario is what someone is going through or someone you know, I send them prayers that it works out. I hope the truth does come out. I hope this queen 
if she married wrong, or maybe she'll come to forgive them. Maybe she'll be, maybe she'll think it's cool and kinky and help spice up the relationship. Maybe the love life has been stale. But no, I feel like he knows that she might even be onto it. The fact that that uh, the temperance card is out the way it is, I feel like that's where we're at right now. She she done found out. She found out. Kids say the darndest things, right? So even if he disciplined the kid or threatened the kid or told him, maybe it scared the kid and they went running and crying, right? Spirit says that's the truth. We got, looks like a duck, right? Are you sure he wasn't playing an actual instrument? I am sure, Mom. I know what a skin flute looks like. He was definitely tuning that bad boy to play right. Family matters, financially burdened. You see, like, again, this might be a couple who... Maybe they're still together, but they've been hiding this because they're embarrassed. Like, they don't want anyone to know that this is what happened. But now it's, like, affecting them financially because they have no... Maybe one wants to be with the other, but, the, again, I feel like the wife is disgusted of what the husband is really doing. And so that energy is not being reciprocated. And she's like, if you want if you want me in your life, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do everything I fucking say or your ass is out on the fucking street. You know, I will take everything from you. Don't do this to me, right? Staying together just for that ego. Because, again, they probably have a bunch of kids together. They've probably been together forever. She's finding out that... This was going on without her knowing all these years. I have a buddy who, I want to go into detail just because of people who watch, but one of my best friends from back in the day, his parents split up because when we were like in high school, I met him when we were in high school. From what I understood, their family was super happily married. His stepdad um, had this tennis club for all these years and his mom would have like these she would sell luggage like at the swap meet and like like new luggage you know like uh, Jan Sport and all these different retailers she was like a wholesale vendor and she'd have her shop during the week and then on the weekends we'd go to Kobe Swap Meet in San Diego and her dad had this tennis club and he would sell trading cards like baseball cards to the local G&G's playing card store when pogs and everything with all that was out we would go down there and then the, i didn't find out two years later that he supplied them with baseball cards I was like what that's crazy small world right well they found that like after we graduated high school a few years after that his mom found out that and, and like and he found out that his stepdad this whole time his tennis club was really just a front for a swingers group he was part of. He was one of the, like, the players. He was like one of the owners or whatever. So it was like a whole side business revolving around sex and lust, cheating on his wife. Now they're all friends and they hang out. Fucking, it's super... I don't, I don't get it. Like, I, I get it. Like, I'm all about forgiveness and, and everything. And they're not together anymore. They obviously split up and they're both like remarried and happy or whatever. But the dev dude, that just devastating. All that time, like behind your back with multiple women for years, for fucking years. I won't even. I wonder if the guy can even fucking serve a tennis ball be honest. I've never seen him serve a tennis ball. <laughs> and I do. I, I play tennis. I've played tennis my whole life. And uh, I was like surrounded like what my, my dad built tennis courts. My mom played tennis. Um, never knew anything else. We got snapping out of it. Back at it. Conquest is yeah the fight is over. Looks like a duck. Family matters. 
Okay, I feel like this is coming out. There's nothing this person can do. It's inevitable. The truth needs to come out. Someone, whoever's been lying, cheating, manipulating, your time is up, dude. You've had so much. You can still apologize and come clean or whatever, but I feel like they already know this. They're fucked. They're so fucked. Now it's like you're just being a fucking asshole and just making things worse for yourself at this point by not taking accountability. Death. That's twice. And it came out right next to it. Death card out of the tarot and the death in the fucking... In my card, they both came out. And that's the death horse of the apocalypse. And conquest, horse of the apocalypse. And remember, no more fighting. This dude is, is done. Despair. Sad, sad, sad. What I tell you? Burping confirmations left and right, left and right. I've been sipping on this, but it's been empty for the entire duration of this reading. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you pesky, pesky kids. I'm telling you. Justice is coming for this motherfucker. He's scared shitless. Loving, emotional, caring, nurturing is this mother. Again, this mother is sad about what this kid is going through. But I feel like he... Um, Again, he did this himself. Actually, I feel like this mother is almost feeling somewhat responsible. Like it's because of her parenting that the kid is like this. That I am getting. So it's like the mother's in regret. End of the road. Rumpelstiltskin. Time to pay your dues. Dude, I'm going to leave that there. End of the road. Rumpelstiltskin. It's time to pay your dues. Good luck to whoever this is. Send in your love, light, prayer. And again, most of all, that sword of truth and that shield of virtue. Use it. Defend yourself. Speak up, even if it hurts you, because the truth will set you free. Break yourself free from those chains, my friend. And if you haven't already, Hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're updated with all the latest content. Check in the description box below for links to Casualties of Rhythm Music as well as the Casual Clothing Shopify store so you can check out the merch and the goodies for the Casualties of Rhythm as well as Johnny Arcade. And in the description box below, there's a link to the Amazon wish list should you want to contribute to the channel by getting a deck or whatever that would help with the videos and stuff. You'll see more if you click on the link. And thank you so much for watching. Welcome, welcome back to the new subscribers. Welcome to the Soul Tribe. Welcome to the family. I love all of y'all. You have a wonderful rest of the day. If you ain't heard it today, know that you are awesome. You've got at least one dude out there praying for you. And God bless you and your beautiful families. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.